Welcome to Floating Lifty Podcast. My name is Xiao Wen, and I'm Noah. And um, I uh, hope that for those of you are listening and who are not listening, <laughs>、um, you guys are well and healthy because we are. Thanks to our efforts and thanks to you. Today we are continuing our、uh, fundamental series of、uh, tea drinking, and I think we touch on the subject of. Texture, mouth feel, mouth feel, structure,、uh, aftertaste, and throat sensation. Last few weeks, and today we are going to looking further at the broth structure, not just in the mouth. Now we'll see how much it can move into our body, or how much it cannot move into our body. <laughs> okay, and so today、uh, I have to gear the show and back up into the alignment again.、Um, So today we are actually going to drink two dongdings. One is our、uh, dongding traditional A, and our one is our charcoal roast dongding. And I think both of these dongdings are from Famasu, and we are using both of these teas from our previous crop actually. So I hope you have the tea to to go、uh, to go along with us. I think we roughly release this tea probably in September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. September.、Mm, maybe later a little bit. Yeah, because、um, we were in Taiwan in September 2019, and we brought both of these teas back. They're on the boat. They were stuck on the boat, so it might have actually been late、oh, October, November. That's right.、Yeah. That's right. So don't think traditional wine released earlier. Yes, it came in without any problem, and the charcoal roast don't think was stuck in the boat <laughs> for like two to three months. Yeah, and so probably it's like October, and it was, it got sold out fairly fast,、mm-hmm. even though we have a higher volume.、Um, so that was good news. And so today we are going to use our tea cereal, a、uh, cereal bowl、uh, style. And guess what? I measure the bowl size today. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> well, we, were, we were measuring some pots to put them on the site yesterday, and we realized that they're way different than what we what visually we look at.、Yeah. So sorry, everybody,、uh, that I have so much confidence to use visual look. <laughs> As my style, and to tell you like how much tea I took and how big is my、uh, utensil, and I was、uh, especially about the utensil part, the size part of it, I was、uh, fairly wrong. So the bowl size that I'm using is roughly around a hundred and forty millimeters. Yeah, what have we been saying? A hundred and twenty-five. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not as bad as、uh, the teapots tea <laughs> that we are currently listing、um, on on our website. We call them the Gongfu. Uh, brewing teapots. That those clays are from Japan. Uh, pot maker is in Taiwan, and roughly, uh, uh the, the final shape looks like Yixin small teapots, and they are very flexible. And I think it's wonderful to to have one of those to um to learn how to brew tea in a teapot. Anyway, let's move on. So boiling hot water, and I use oh by the way, I use four grams of tea in a bowl style today. Oh shoot! We don't have a cup to use、oh. to drink tea. <laughs> But while you are trying this tea, still、uh, try to maybe one or two sips.、Uh, try to see how the texture is in the mouth.、Uh, never forget about that part. Yeah, and then we'll come back to the scent. Yeah, I, I, I did want to mention since we're getting into some、mm, more physical. Yeah, more physical, more a little bit more、uh, nuanced. Stuff、mm-hmm. in the body sensation.、Um, if you're just tuning in as this episode and the first of all the episodes that we put out about this stuff, try to go back and listen to the mouth feel episodes because mouth feel is really important with the. I think、tea. it's the foundation. Yeah, yeah, a very important foundation of a tea、uh, to detect、uh, who the tea is, how the tea quality is as well. So first, let's do this. Then,、um, don't think traditional air. Spray really nicely on the tongue. Puff up to the rooftop of the、uh, mouth, and I can see, I can physically see how it spread and go down into the bottom of a、uh, underneath the tongue as well.、Mm-hmm. Simulate salivation. Salivation really fast. Hits the throat really、mm-hmm. obviously. Yeah. So eventually, when you can do this,、uh, you keep practicing looking at the texture in the mouth. You can do it faster and faster. Yeah. So you don't need to do it,、uh, but still practice as a break. Breaking down stuff. If you are new to this, you know that what is the weight, and then where is hitting my tongue? Does it puff up? Is it moving? How does it move? Where is it moving to? Does it move to my throat? How do I feel it in my throat? Only front, 
the back too? Wow, really? <laughs> well, they said the tea can move to the back and I can feel it, you know, keep struggling, <laughs> keep, keep, keep trying to figure it out. Okay. But I think the first uh, few rounds, you know, I would say months even, um, you guys had maybe breaking down and then, uh, have a, have a, have a, um, uh, you know, it's a good way to learn it and then link it all together. You can, you can spot it faster and faster each time. And so let's go to the charcoal roll stone thing. I see your focus in the mouth and the throat only. Okay. Just starting from the scent, it has a little bit more focus, bringing it further into the sinuses. Cool. I totally ignore the scent. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Cause we need to do scent. Yeah. We, we need to, to we, we are going to do uh, a few episodes on the scent. Okay. In the mouth, um, it doesn't need to spray as much. It, the ball shape is more clear. It doesn't move into a ball. It was a ball to begin with. Um, things feel rounder and more connected in the mouth. Uh, physical body wise feel similar. The way, I mean, the way of the broth feel similar to the Dongding traditional A. Um, but this tea, you can still f- totally see the angle of it moving to the throat. Mm. And the, the throat angle is even though it's sharp, it's a bit rounder than the Dongding traditional A. Okay, and today is a new episode that we are going to talk about the... So you kind of use these first few sips to warm up your mouth and warm up your throat. And then this one, uh, I'm going to... Since I take out some liquid, I'm going to add some more boiling hot water back into the bowl again. Let it brew for a short time. And then... So when you drink the tea, uh, please pay attention to the broth. When you are swallowing the tea, when you pass the throat, can you feel the liquid moving inside of your body? And don't think about energy yet. Think about actually the actually the actual tea broth liquid. It f- physically moved to the pipe and then to the stomach. But can you feel it? You know, the motion. So let's do this one. And then um, I think we kind of, with this kind of episodes, we, we just skip I think a little bit of those teas who are incapable of moving, maybe. So um, it doesn't mean those teas are bad tea. Those teas, um, I will call them maybe like just a uh, table wine kind of a tea, just like our house oolong, for example. As a roasted tea, uh, it's, it's big flavor, it's, it's simple and straightforward, it's comforting. Um, but if you have those teas at home, like our Taiwan Wu Yi or House Oolong, also drink that one, maybe together with all these two teas and see how much that tea can move or cannot move. You know, um, I'm not trying to prove, um, that then don't drink those teas. Those teas are bad teas. Uh, I'm trying to, in, in a way, open a, open a door for tea drinkers, including myself. Where can you see a good tea? Mm. Yeah. I think simple things has its place. You know, I call, how do you call, you guys call it a guilty? Guilty pleasure? Pleasure. Like my, including bad things, I would say. <laughs> Not so good things like chips. Potato but, chips? Yeah. And bubble tea? Bubble tea. But, but within that context, you know, there are better, better uh, potato chips than the others. Mm-hmm. And bubble tea the same. There are better, way better bubble teas than the really crappy bubble teas too, you know. Um, and so even though those things are not super, super complex, I would say bubble tea then. Not super, super complex, but there is a, a bubble tea that actually strike a balance to me, then I would drink it. Yeah. And I still drink it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that thing. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so now I already soaked the tea for quite a while when I'm talking about bubble tea. <laughs> and let's look at the liquid. So don't in traditional air again. So don't in traditional air, the tea broth pass the throat without any trouble. Um, hit the point of my chest and then there's a huge presence on my chest and I'm feeling the tea is trying to push down further. The actual liquid reach to my stomach for sure yeah. i don't know where else it went. <laughs> but there's just it leaves such a, a big uh strong effort like the tea is stuck it reached to the chest and it's stuck in one point there and it tried to push down further while the actual liquid already go down <laughs> yeah. cool yeah i can feel it really clearly go past the throat 
Yeah, no, no trouble. No trouble past the throat, and mm-hmm. then it's just around around the middle, bottom of the pecs kind yeah. of area mm-hmm. um, that it stops moving for me. Mm. Okay, and then let's see the chuckle roast dongding. And chuckle roast dongding for me past the throat without without any problem. And since previous, he leaves such a strong uh, presence at the this the middle chest. point yeah. at the chest area. I feel the tea actually pass to the area, kind of touch it a little it's bit. It's kind of like it lights it up a little bit more yeah, because light, the last tea touch got it, there first. Touch it a little bit and say, it's okay. <laughs> and then just move on. Mm. And then just move to my stomach. Mm. And I can feel it uh, physically in my stomach. Yeah. Uh, if And then, um, yeah, see... So this cup, just practice, see if you can see the liquid. And maybe, uh, who knows, maybe you need a couple more sips to do this. So just keep going on with this, including if you say, I have no idea what you are saying. Mm-hmm. I can't feel a damn thing showing. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I, I felt the tea, the very first sip of the charcoal tea, I, uh, I had kind of a minute where I was like, did it go past the chest? Mm. Do I feel it past my chest? I'm not actually sure because mm-hmm. I do feel the presence more strong in the chest. And then I, I, I took a minute, I took another sip, and then I feel it pretty clearly entering the stomach. Mm-hmm. But it is because I had the the traditional first. Yeah, there's kind of like that. That area is already kind of lighted up. Yeah, it's easier to, easier to feel that part. Yeah. So if you just have to do this part and you have to try the tea for month, uh, please do it. It doesn't mean you move on like us. Okay. Uh, or you can feel the things we are saying. So for example, in a, in a mouth texture part, if you cannot feel the tea hit the rooftop, you know what? Keep practicing on the part of is it even spraying, spreading on your tongue. Even just do that part. You are going to discover things and let the tea, let the tea lead you someday. Someday the tea will know that you are ready and it will give you a wonderful surprise so in a way um if i learn something from tea it's teaching me patience that i normally don't have (laughs) (laughs) trust me (laughs) i want to get there so badly and so fast like i'm a superwoman or something (laughs) and tea sometimes just like you are incapable just slow down okay so um um, tea learning is just so much fun for me and sometimes so humiliating. <laughs> so, so if you have to do this a couple of times, please do it. And, but this one, we are going to move on, uh, not just watch where it's going. See if you can see and feel the shape mm. of the broth mm. or another way to practice. Are they, is the broth very connected? Is there smooth angles or sharper angles? Where does it stop? What is the shape when it stop? How do you feel? Mm, if you are not a visual person like seeing shapes and that kind of stuff, you can actually feel the texture also. So let's uh, go back to Dongding traditional, eh? Um, so the shape of the, the broth, uh, when it passed the throat, it was, it had a very sharp angle. I feel the broth is really thick, like a tube, really, really big th- and thick and almost to the point that I think my physical pipe is smaller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when it hit the uh, middle of my chest, that point that had leave a very big presence, um, it's actually a little bit uncomfortable at the chest area. <laughs> Sometimes I'm very brutal at describing my own teeth. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a little bit of roughness there. Um, in a way, in a in a really bad word, a way to describe it is just like my body is telling me that you see this teeth cannot move on. <laughs> but I, okay, I just have to tell you, okay, I'm still loving this tea because it's really a good, a uh, excellent learning tea for the price point. Like. It, for the price point and the the how much this tea can teach, I sometimes want to nail down on the floor and just say thank you tea. Mm. Yeah, the the capacity of this tea that can teach in in a rough way, <laughs> in a really clear way. Um, I really appreciate this don't in traditional air, eh? but it just leave a it leave a, a sensation here at the chest and then just like, um, please move on. You know, 
me, I am saying, please move on. How about you? I feel that the point of the tea is not as fine as other mm-hmm, teas, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and when it hits, when it hits a certain length, it it's just too th- thick mm-hmm. to continue moving down. It's like it's like it can't it can't get through because it's it's a little bit too coarse. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like really yeah. thick. I really see that uh, the broth bigger than my pipe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my pipe cannot yeah. my pipe cannot handle the broth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In a rough way, I think. And then I see this uh, charcoal roast on the. Um, I just have to say from the beginning, in the in the mouth, on the texture is extremely soft and exquisite, and at the same time on a huge presence. Uh, past the throat with the angle, and the angle is it. There's a softness. Almost you put that um, slide. You put some some soft cushions around the slide, and then the way it's moving down just. Is in a way, is I I will say if I look at a physical shape, the shape match my pipe <laughs> size. <laughs> okay, I'm not crazy. Okay, I'm not crazy. It the shape really match the size, and I, at the same time, the whole time that is moving and passing through, there's a softness, and it's telling me it's okay. I can move. And it's just there's that exquisite softness throughout the whole thing, and the connection is much, uh, 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 much more connected. You know, from the mouth to the, to the, to the stomach, there's no point that it got broken. That it got to stop and say, okay, stop. I got to stop now. You know, I think the traditional air at the at the chest area. I think traditional air can move down to the stomach, but I just have to stop here. And say, let me try. <laughs> just, just wait, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, here you go. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. How that's about good. You? That's good. <laughs> Don't you guys love how I describe it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I notice is I'm not as visual as you. Uh. Um, I try to listen to the tea like a piece of music. With a traditional dong ding, when I feel it in my mouth, it feels like a... Howling wolf? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't even know what howling wolves. Sorry, sorry. Just sorry. like you, you know, play a chord on the guitar, and it, there's a, a little bit more distortion on it. Mm. You know, it's it's a bigger sound, mm. but it doesn't have the detail of hearing the higher harmonic structure of what's happening. Mm. The charcoal roasted dong ding, you can really start to hear more intricate um, placement of of harmony. Mm. And then as it goes down, uh, as it as it moves through. The uh, the traditional is a more blunt way of touching you. Mm-hmm. Um, it gets its point across really well. Mm-hmm. Um, but then the charcoal... Kind of poking at you and make you think a little bit. Yeah. And you got to stop. Yeah. And say, yeah, what, it's, what's... It's, oh, 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 okay. I think I think, I think I see it. Oh, oh, wow. That's that too? It's more, it's more stimulating you to... In a way, it's actually more challenging. Yeah. 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 Um, just like a... a you know, when a musician adds more complexity to a piece of music, that piece of music is more challenging. And when, when you go into it and work with it a little bit and then finally figure out something, it feels more rewarding at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, as opposed to a piece of punk rock music where it just like feels, you know, you, you pretty much get it as soon as you listen to it, but it does feel really good. Mm-hmm. No, no offense to punk rock music either, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, love, I love punk rock music. <laughs> Um, and I love the traditional dong ding. Like I said, I drank it many, many, many times, and I plan to drink it many more times. Um, yeah, so... The presentation is really different. That's sure. All. And sometimes, you know, when I do tea like this, um, it made me think a lot. Like, how much more do I have to think and feel? And how much more can I think and feel? And at the same time, I think there was a place um, in an interview that Mr. John said do not use your ego to think and so i've been (laughs) oxymoronly i've been thinking about it a lot Mm -hmm. (laughs) do i not think or what (laughs) um and then you know like chinese philosophy have those like 
do this and do not do that. And it's kind of like opposite direction, kind of a, a philosophical thinking and do, thinking and doing. And I think T actually is in this room too. So some, I, my own interpretation is that we cannot not think, but we cannot use our ego, what we think is right and wrong to think. I think we got to stay mindful. My fault, in a way, if you want to say there's a thinking, it is a thinking, huh? You got to stay with very closely with something. And yet, when you start to evaluate, when I'm like thinking about tea and, and evaluate the tea, is it me talking? My ego talk, talking? Or is it because I receive something from the tea and the tea make me talk? Mm. To, 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 to talk about its, 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 its values and its qualities and, and, and stuff. You know, where is my ego playing in this thing? And where is my actual thinking? And where is the T thinking coming up to me? And so this next infusion, I will invite you and myself. Maybe we don't talk and also audience out there just, just simply sometimes enjoy the T. T is not a painful, by the way. <laughs> Like, God damn it, can I figure this one thing out? <laughs> there are moments like that. Keep practicing that and keep struggle with it. But there are moments, I think, just relax your body and relax your mind. Stay with your tea. Um, how do you do that? Just keep trying. <laughs> and then um, this infusion, I will say, just let the tea move without, stay with it, but no need to talk it out loud. Let the tea move you. Don't think traditional, eh? Thank you. Charcoal roast donning. We thank you as well. So thank you for listening. I hope our podcast program uh, bring you some comfort, uh, companionship, laughter, and connection or learning. Either way, you want to take it. Um, uh, for those of you who want to connect with us in a visual way, we have it on Facebook and Instagram. Both platforms might have some problems <laughs> or our internet also have some problems. So, um, but anyway, that's the one of the ways that we can offer uh, continuous learning and connection with all of you. It's on Facebook and Instagram, Tuesday and Thursday, Pacific time at 11.30. Tuesday, more focus on our podcast program on the fundamental structures of tea drinking. Thursday, is about tea brewing. Um, so just keep connecting with us. And we also thank you for continuing to support us. We are in this together. And every day when I think about this, I stop thinking about how many bad things people are doing. I start to think about how many good things people are doing. And that really keep me going. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, please continue to shop on our website, Floating leaf.com so that we can turn the support to other people who need the support right now and uh, keep drinking tea it's really good for you and we'll see you on monday bye bye bye